We'll guide you through how to scan documents with your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, we can actually do this without downloading any apps, which is super good. So just go and open up the notes app on your phone like this. Then all you want to do is go and create a new note at the bottom by clicking on the create note button and make sure you've got your keyboard open. If you haven't, just click and it'll go and open up. And we then need to go and click on the camera icon just here and then we can go and click on scan documents. Now I'm just gonna hide my camera as otherwise it starts scanning because we've actually got the mode set to auto in the top right. So if you want, you can change that to manual. I quite like using auto though, as it sort of does it itself. And then all you need to do is line up the document just like so, so it's far above it. And it will then go and sort of scan it for you. And then like that, it'll find the edges and it will then go and take the scan. And if you've got multiple documents, I just like to cover up the camera temporarily just while I move the page. And then what I'll do is I'll go and then scan it again, like so. And as you can see, it sort of calculates it pretty well. And that just like that, you've now scanned. If you find that it's auto scanning too much, then you can change it to manual in the top right. And you can also preview in the bottom left as well. And you can go and make edits as well. So let's say you wanted to edit this document here. You go and press on the crop button in the bottom left. You have got some other tools here as well, but I'll just crop it for now and then it will open up the original photo and you can then align the corners to make it perfect. Once you're happy with it, then press on done in the bottom right like that and you can then go and press on done in the top left as well. Now your camera will open again so you can take more, but if you're finished, click on save in the bottom right and it will take a moment to generate it and there it is. And click on the arrow just here and then you can go and have a few options. You can look at it, but ultimately you probably wanna share it in an email. So click on share. And then as you can see, it's now a PDF document and you can scroll down and put it in an email or do whatever you want with it.